when someone hurts us or when we feel like we've been wronged by the other person? And why should I, why should I initiate? Why should I try to reach out if that person hurt me? Why should I try to mend that relationship? They are at fault. And you know what? You could be right. But do you hold, do you want Allah to hold you to that same standard? When you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment, has Allah ever wronged you? Has Allah ever wronged you? But you have wronged yourself by disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is not that you only mend with people that want to mend, that you only reconcile with people that want to reconcile. It's that you remove that grudge from your heart and you say, you know what? I want Allah to not hold me to anything on the Day of Judgment. I will forgive you and I will reconcile even though I think you're wrong. And if I really have Ihsan, I'm not even going to remind you about how many times you were wrong. I'm just going to let it go for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not abuse, no. But the transgressions and the things that often pit us apart and often drive us apart. You have family members that don't talk to each other over money. You have people that break lifelong relationships, sometimes sacred, sanctified by Allah, the family bonds, because of a silly conversation. And you know what the key culprit usually is? You want to destroy your relationship really, really, really quick? Let this be the medium by which you carry on your relationships. You will ruin them all one by one. When you don't have serious conversations with people in person and you restrict them to emails and WhatsApp messages and take shots at people through Facebook, you know, it's like when husband and, hu it's funny when husbands and wives are getting into debates or, or when husbands and wives are not going well and the whole world knows it because you go online and you post about how husbands should be and how wives should be. And everyone knows you're talking about your husband and your wife. That's not the way to fix a relationship. An email is not the way to fix a relationship. A phone, a WhatsApp message or a text message is not the way to fix a relationship. Learn to talk to people. Carry your relationships like humans without the robots in between, without the technology in between. When we talk to each other without these, there is rahmah, there is mercy. There is the natural human component. I can say things to you through this that I would never dare say to you in your face. Yet somehow I keep doing it over and over and over again. And I keep assaulting people with this little thing. And yes, it's an iPhone. If you have an Android, it's just satanic. Your words are so much worse when it's not an iPhone. I hope I get paid for that one. I need to stop resorting to this. And I need to resort to this. And let people actually humanize one another and give people the benefit of a doubt. When you hold grudges, you will only stop yourself from progressing. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah said that when your enemy shoots arrows at you and misses you, not only did he not strike you with his arrow, but you caused him to waste an arrow as well. So when people try to offend and try to harm and you are unfazed and you are always able to go I don't want to say when they go low, go, you go high, but you know, you get the message. You're always able to overcome that and always able to be the better person and always able to be the one who shows ihsan. Not only have you not been struck by the arrow, you caused that person to waste an arrow, to possibly reassess and to reevaluate the way they carry themselves.